So, the story of Noah. Humanity has become so evil that God can no longer do nothing. And so he decides to destroy everything, aside from Noah, who is the only blameless person living on earth at the time. And so God tells Noah to build a boat to survive the global apocalypse in the form of a flood. And Noah builds the ark and he takes his family and all the different kinds of animals with him two by two, as well as some to eat and some to sacrifice, so that nature perseveres as well. And then it rains constantly for 40 days. And then it stops raining. And there's only water. It covers everything. Trees, fields, mountains, goats, everything. The water stays for 150 days and then it starts to recede. And it takes about as long as it's stuck around for to start receding. Eventually the mountains are uncovered and then everything else follows slowly. Overall, Noah and his family are stuck on this boat for just over a year. No Wi-Fi, no phone, nobody else in the entire world for one whole year. After the year we've just had, I can only imagine what Noah's year was like. But at the end of it all, God makes an incredible covenant with Noah and the rest of humanity. And in the Bible, a covenant is usually made a little like wedding vows, with each person promising to do things for the other and to stay in partnership with the other. Only here, God doesn't do that. God promises his end of the deal, knowing that we're going to let him down again and leave the partnership and generally do bad things. So God promises to not destroy everything again, in spite of knowing that we're going to wake or walk away from him again. That's an incredible look at God's grace and patience. And this is over 2,000 years before Jesus. It's so early in the story of humanity. I mean, this is on page 12 of my 1,300 page Bible. And already God is showing us such amazing grace.